Hello there, Cosmic Kittens and Planetary Puppies of the Earth Tribes. It's your girl, Cats and Wandering Intuitive, and I am back once again bringing you your horoscopal forecast for the week ahead. But remember, this is timeless, so whenever you come upon it, it's the right time for you. Remember, take every reading with a grain of salt, take what resonates and pitch out the rest. And if you have cards, pull along with me. That way you can tap into these energies that are influencing your sign over the coming week. That we can get a personalized view and see how that's going to be influencing your love life, your career, your money, your family, friends, and most importantly, you. So on that note, Virgo, Taurus, and Capricorn, your timestamps are in the description box. And remember, if I drive with your vibe, please like, share, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell. That way you guys are first notified when your horoscopes are uploaded to YouTube. So on that note, let's kick it off with Virgo. Hello there, Virgo. All right. Oop. All right, spirit for Virgo this week, please. And thank you. Ah, there's this uh, nice lifting energy this release like feeling not so burdened not so heavy and weighed down this week it really be whoa okay virgo opening to discovery exposed and revealed roots of abundance the water signs got this too if you have any uh water placements in your church you might want to hop over and check out your respective sign in the water signs <clears throat> call the muse and the Rose's Kiss. Interesting. I did shuffle the crap out of this deck, <laughs> too. So it's interesting these two came up for you guys also. Okay. So Roots of Abundance, very important. Ground, 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 Virgo. Ground. Stay here. Stay present. And the big message, this is for everybody in the collective. We These roots that we've been planting, I mean, the trees that we've been planting, the seeds that we've been planting as we release and let go and follow our heart, we're actually, we're going to see them have taken root when we didn't before because we were still clearing stuff out. Now we're in this like, just clearing phase, like the fog is lifting, okay? So we're going to see this, okay? A big one on staying present though. Do not let your mind feed on things that are outside yourself, distracting you from being right here and now, being fully focused, because listening is going to be a big thing this week for you, Virgo. I feel very strongly, okay? Listening, communication, okay? Communicating. Opening to discovery. Discovery. Discovering the roots that have taken root and are starting to sprout, okay? This is a good thing. This is something, to, it's meant to, I feel like, uh, sorry, I can see it, ignite your fire. Your passion again, your enthusiasm, your hope again, Virgo. And being open to these new things. Be open, be curious. Don't be afraid to step outside the box there, Virgo. You're in charge of you. You can go check things out. You can go poke around, go, hmm. Being very observant. Okay, but are you being more observant of others than yourself? That's for some of you out there. Remember, take resonance, pitch out the rest. I do feel that. It's like being exposed and revealed to yourself. Some of you are going to be seeing things that maybe you didn't want to see, okay? Maybe behavior patterns, procrastination, like deeply rooted, like you've been doing that for decades and maybe never even saw it as that. Okay, maybe just thought it was your brain processing. Okay, for, that's just an example for a few of you watching this, okay? But <clears throat> some stuff, some things, it could be, I feel love for Virgo, I feel career for Virgo. Okay, very strong here. Okay, very strong energy here for that. It's gonna be revealed to you, exposed. It's almost like it was covered. And once you started, you know, kind of lifting up that release and being present, all of a sudden, there it is, like, whoa, you know. I feel this, this encouragement to do things, like to take action where you haven't for so long because you weren't ready or you felt you weren't ready. Spirit's about to show you here, expose and reveal that you are, okay? And it's all good. It's all good. For some of you, I have to say, because Spirit's bringing that in very strongly, the things that maybe you've seen that have stopped you from seeing these opportunities for what they are, what they really are, which Spirit's going to reveal what they really are this week, okay? Because it's the stuff you've been planting. Maybe not consciously for some of you. Maybe you haven't seen it. Okay? You're going to see it this week. Okay? 
your perspective is really going to widen and flip. I just I see hands on a cube going flip. Looking and being okay with looking at it differently. Being open for it appearing differently in your life because there's a reason why. It's like being open and excited, feeding in the energy for go. So we have called the muse. Spirit's calling you. It's I feel like very very strongly this did come up for um Cancer and Scorpio respectively. So if you have those, you might want to check that out too. But this is a big one for it's spirits coming in to get you. It's going to be hitting you where your heart is. Like if you love to dance or love to sing, create, write, paint, uh, build cars or, you know, whatever, play golf, go roller skating. The spirit is coming in and going to be hitting you in those little, <laughs> little pleasures. They want you to get back in and they want you to fire up. These opportunities are coming in to get, to get your energy up for this, to support this. Okay. Because they want you to see it's time. It's time to move Virgo. Now, this is another message coming through. Some things may happen or not happen so that you can see this, okay? There may be like, you think you're going this direction with your job and all of a sudden uh, there's something happens, at, but that's because this is here. You need to go here, okay? That's just an example. Same relationships, maybe been kind of going back and forth. Maybe you're in one of those situationships, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Maybe you're like, you see it for what it is, you walk away, but then you're away from it, and you're like, well, maybe, blah, blah, blah. well, no more. Spirit's going to show you in a big way. That wasn't the door. This is, okay? Watch for those signs and synchronicities. I'm telling you, number 21 and raw, and uh, something about clocks, okay? So take what resonates. All right, those are confirmations for, and it's all geared towards this energy. This energy is the strongest energy in the collective. It's the Rose's Kiss, Kiss from a Rose by Seal. I don't know why I keep saying that, but it's like, tell them that song. So if you're not familiar with Kiss from a Rose by Seal, the artist, S-E-A-L, look it up and just look up the lyrics, okay? There's gonna be something that resonates. So whoever feels, oh, I should look that up, that's for you, okay? Now, I'm all, you, okay, now, this is all geared towards pumping your heart up and getting you fired up about things again. That enthusiasm, that that um, shedding the disappointment, the shedding the giving up. Maybe after years and years and years, you know, you've been trying so hard and, and you don't realize it, you've been giving up. Spirit's going to show you that as you get fired up. Okay. But don't worry about what coulda, woulda, shoulda, or whoa, I shoulda started now, why didn't I see it now? Don't worry about that because you're in exactly where you're supposed to be right now, Virgo. I don't care what energy, uh, energy aspects. Sorry, spirit's just grabbing on me. Let's get the tarot. I don't read these traditionally. I read them by the energies that come through them. Oh, oh there's your card. Time to come out of that cave. Time. <laughs> Here's a call. Call of the muse. Judgment. Gabriel sounding that horn like mofo. Okay. Time to move. Now, Virgo. Okay. Like I said, the things that were most obvious, maybe you couldn't see. We've all, we've all been there. Trust me. Trust me. Trust us, Pisces. <laughs> okay. So but it's going to be revealed. Okay. Spirit's calling you. Get out of the cave there, Virgo. It's time to, I'm calling you, get out, get out of the coffins, get out of those holes, get out of the boxes. I got something to show you and you'll see it. Two major arcana there. Very strong emphasis. Maybe some of you have been home too much. Maybe you haven't gotten out. Spirit's calling you out. You're not going to be able to resist. It's like spirit is definitely going to be holding that. Uh, uh, let me put it this way. It's a huge wad of cash. Okay. They're not $1 bills. They're like hundred dollar bills wrapped up and they've got it on a stick going, come on, come out. <laughs> That's what's good. That's the energy I'm getting from that. Spirit is going to draw you out. Yep. Oh, yep. Time to let go and move on. Hold on. I saw, I saw you guys. This deck gets uh, very excited. I haven't used the after tarot in forever. Okay. This is what's going to be exposed and revealed. What are you hanging on to? It could be a job, something that makes you, it's anything that makes you feel secure, Virgo. Love, a, par, an, a partner, you know what I mean? Uh, something outside yourself. You can't take it with you. That's the spirit side, okay? 
this is what you're going to see, what you've been hanging on to. And then once this fires up, you'd be like, oh, heck no, I'm out of here. I'm telling you, this is a very strong energy to get light chip fire. Okay, it's all geared up to finish this up. See, three of cups. For some of you, you will be meeting people. Or maybe you didn't see the people who actually do align with you, the people who are right on your page, right on your level, they get you. You know, this could be very close friends or family, an inner circle. Okay, and feeling very blessed and celebratory. And for others, it's about getting you out. You know, just call up your friends. Say, hey, do something you haven't done with them for a long time. Just because they haven't called you doesn't mean you shouldn't reach out. You're going to be surprised, Virgo. For the, you're going to see everything. You're going to see those people. Okay, some of you, it's already there. And for others, you may do, you know, call your friend. Hey, you know, we haven't gone out. Blur, blur, blur. And off you go. And boom. Hi, how you doing? Okay. And, and I also heard this. You're going to be surprised at the friends that are going to come in to help you. Okay. Could be in love. I feel that. Let your friends help when it comes to love. Maybe you've been uh, hesitating on moving forward somewhere. They're, they're going to help you and they're, they're going to understand. They're going to get you. They're not going to try to talk you out of it. Okay, Virgo. They want you happy. Okay. The muse isn't just about creativity and the arts. This is about you. You're the muse. And spirit's firing you up so you can see all the muses around you that align with that. You're going to feel this harsh like heart, like harsh, not harsh, like cruel, but like you're going to feel it very powerfully, especially with this King of Wands. Okay. Creativity, creative, passionate, enthusiastic. Okay. One thing you want to watch out for is you want to step back. Okay. Don't let people spin you. Okay. Don't let them spin you. See, he's the king. He can't just let every little thing trigger his ass, you know, or the way the whole, you know, it affects the whole kingdom. Because he got pissy about something for him. Well, that person did that, so I'm going to me, me, me. Okay, don't put the energy out there. He keeps his energy here. Look, I want to float my boat. I like how I'm feeling. And then when he's full, he shares. He gives to others. Then make sure you are full and feeling this kind of confident and strong. Then you can give to others, no matter what aspect that is, okay? Your time is valuable. Your worth is even more so. Let's look at love for Virgo. This is the price of love oracle for Virgo. All right, for those who are single, spirit, Virgo. I saw that. Oh, the number 222, deja vu. Okay, this isn't that next. Deja vu, I really feel like showing you past life. Someone you feel like you've known before. It's someone who feels so familiar to you. Coming forward, you're going towards them. Okay, could be through a friend. Okay, could be a water sign. I feel very certain these this three of cups and the deja vu energy. It, it's like being around people that know you, like you've known them all your lives. You may go to a party and just <laughs> meet a couple of people who are just jiving with your vibe. One of them could be your past life person. Okay. And the reason why past lives are coming up is that some of our divine counterparts were a part of our past lives. Hello. Always there. And they're, now they've cleared their shit. They're coming forward. Some of them are already in place, just waiting for your step. Waiting for you, Virgo. All right. What about this deja vu spirit? For Virgo. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Spirit says, you know what to do, Virgo. Look at fate. This is fated. This person is fated. They're coming in very strong. So, like I said, some of you, you just have to... Take the initiative, let go of the fear, let go of where it's safe, staying home, keeping your heart protected, no more. Spirit's going to light your fire in such a way you're just going to be out there and not even realizing you just met until after. It's going to be a ding, 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 two, 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 okay. Fate. This is fated. This is destiny. I'm telling you. All right, for those in relationships, okay, euphoria. 
yeah, I got the disco lights. I got the whole thing. Chicken now, now. Okay, so that's all going on there. Uh, feeling sexy, feeling good, feeling appreciated. There's this, like, like both of you took like ecstasy and you're just like in the zone. I feel a very strong energy of that supporting each other in and, and feeding that, feeding that vibe, feeding the... That what makes them feel good, you know, teamwork. It's like coming together. It's it's amazing. It's like that three of cups, especially if you're married. Okay. For some of you, it could be pregnancy. This may lead to the pregnancy. Dear chicken, dear, dear. Okay, so I'm feeling that very strong. Libido up. No more redacting. Time to speak your truth. And I feel like this, if you were in this mode where everybody was editing what they were saying to each other, I don't want to piss them off. I don't want to piss them off. I don't want to do this. I don't want to, you know, and you're like, yeah, okay, whatever. That's gone. Red acting, for those who don't know this, I pray pronounce it wrong, red acted, is when like, say, uh, government records are public. So we can, we can request them and they'll send it to us, but if there's shit they don't want us to see, they do this. Okay, whenever there's like a public document or a document, people were like, yeah, we have, we have to show you this, but there's certain things that you can't see or know. Okay, which can make whatever's coming across, you know, you're reading it kind of out of context, right? Well, that's about to end. Now everybody's free flowing, speaking their truth and not holding back. And this is the same with you guys here. Speak your truth, don't red act. Don't, don't be anything but your beautiful self there, Virgo, okay? Don't hold back. You're going to be very surprised. This person jives with your vibe. This person's going to get you on levels that you've only dreamed of. Imagine it being here in real life. So on that note, Virgo, have a great week. Hello there, Taurus. All right. Let's see what Spirit has for you this coming week for Taurus. Please, Spirit. There is this energy, very strong energy of this release, of this feeling lightened and not burdened. It's like, I don't want this stress anymore. I don't want to think like this anymore. I need a break. I need it gone. And this release is coming and like the clouds are clearing. Higher view. And yeah, it was reverse. I'm getting very small percentage of Taurus that it's like a limited perspective. As the clouds clear, though, you're going to be stepping into this. This is a very prominent energy coming in for all signs this week. Very strong, strong energy there. Taurus, please, spirit. For this week. Oop. Grounding is another energy that's coming in. There we go. Oh, interesting. And I'll tell you why. Oof. Okay. All the signs pretty much have gotten this. It's called a rooted abundance. I think it was what it was called. Um, this is the Oracle of the Seven Energies. But And I kept telling people, you're going to start seeing the roots that you've been planting by all the self-work and, and honoring yourself and feeding your heart and focusing on yourself and cutting away all that that's draining you. You're going to start seeing those roots. You're going to see those roots have taken place. And you're going to start seeing the sprouts and you've got bearing fruit. So you are going to see this in a huge way, all the work you've been doing. Okay. That's where the higher view comes from. Going to show you. Okay. Al's. Keep an eye out for that, for confirmations. Be grounded this week, but not stubbornly grounded. Just being mindful. Be here. Be now. Be present. Because you're about to get blessed in a big, huge way. Taurus is about to have the most amazing week ever. Great and full. Your cup's going to overflow. You want your cup filled first before you share with others, okay? So make sure when the good stuff starts coming in, you keep it to yourself for a little bit there, Taurus. You don't have to share it out of guilt or I know you're happy and you want to give, but make sure, like especially if it's monetary or money, okay, that you're, everything's taken care of with you money-wise. And if you have a little extra, then you can give, you know, but don't put yourself in a position you know, where you're depleted or your cup ended up being like a quarter, like one quarter full after that. The number 11 is very prominent. We have imperfect harmony. Communication starting to get better, get clearer. You know why? Because you can see it now. You know what to ask for. If it doesn't feel good to you, you don't do that. Okay. You don't compromise for anyone there, Taurus. Okay. And now that you've known that, being great and full 
and and this message just came in you will see the people who are also great and grateful for you in their lives sincerely with no ulterior motives they're truly grateful and blessed to have you in their lives that's going to be a big big energy here and alignment meeting people that drive with your vibe for some of you it's going to be love meeting someone who gets you someone you feel like you've known all your life it's a big huge energy of that coming in for all the signs this week in perfect harmony communication two of cups came up just a bunch about everybody's being more open and not afraid to speak their truth and to set their boundaries because it feels good to do that when you honor yourself but it feels even better when the people you're setting your boundary with like like i don't really feel like doing that and they're like oh that's cool okay and they don't hold a grudge they get it they honor you by that it's the people who go well i'm just asking for you to blare 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 and they guilt you that's they're not respecting you you're gonna see that very clearly but you're also going to see the good ones. <laughs> That's what Spirit said. All right, let's get some tarot on this. We're using the after tarot. I do not read traditionally. I read the energies as they come through the cards that are shown. Let's come out. Oh, thanks. Whoa, whoa, hey. Okay. All right. Thank you, Spirit. We'll take them. All right. Ah, okay. Here's the thing. Some of you are still maybe going through a tower moment. Now, towers aren't always bad, okay? Now, here's the tower moment. Remember I was talking about feeling released, feeling lighter, not so stressed in the head. Your anxieties are going to start going down to almost nil, okay? Because when the anxiety and stress and your brain stressing on shit outside yourself that has nothing to do with you right now, here, and now, worrying about this, that, and the other, it, <laughs> spirits come in in a big way. Look at this. The eight, or I'm sorry, the eight of swords with the tower, a sudden change, a sudden aha, a sudden clearing, suddenly you see, okay? Once we have the stress and anxiety out of the way and the procrastination just out, just gone, disabled, it's like, oh, okay, now I can blah, 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 X, Y, Z, now you can move. Okay, for some of you, it might be a situation where you've been stuck in your head, okay? Spirits coming in to help get rid of those it's like you know maybe you've been stuck way too long spirits like okay that's enough now you're kind of growing you know you're growing vines around your feet there Taurus let's get you moving and it's going to come in in a most unexpected and surprising way for some of you could be someone okay someone who's grateful for you someone who's a real friend someone who will open up and talk honestly okay now Okay, here's the thing. For some of you, you may have had combative energies with others as you have been stepping into your own path, as you've been doing the work and saying, no, um, that's over. Okay, some of those people are going away. Okay, with the Knight of Swords in reverse, no more just ah, energy. Like, say hi, and next thing you know, it turns into a no. Okay, a lot more clear communication, less impulsive attack like strike first and then ask questions later okay because we have the say of wands coming in very very strong this is the fire energy is coming in in a creative way to light your fire in your heart it's like a new new fire in the heart like a renewal of the heart just feeling good following that it's like your heart's gonna burn for everything you're gonna get that enthusiasm back it's like a brand new phase for you there taurus and for others is i mean for some it's gonna be love brand new passionate beginning Okay, go with that. Go with your heart. <laughs> go with your heart. You don't have to worry about that. It's for some of you, it might be you're waiting for this to end with this Knight of Swords. Bye bye now. Maybe you were wrapped up with that because they came in like, like this. Look at the picture. Okay. And not realizing that they're on the same freaking thing. He just went in there just blindly slinging his sword everywhere and killing his own people, <laughs> killing his own army. Okay. That's what Spirit said. That's over. That battle has ended. However, it hadn't for you in the head. That's why Spirit's coming in. Done. Okay? Blessing you with the Ace of Wands of Burn Away. Okay? Now, Page of Wands in reverse. This energy has got two messages. It's kind of both. Okay? So for some of you, maybe you've been on a long road and I'm feeling so enthusiastic, okay, about whatever direction, whether it's career, 
okay, a hobby, uh, something new you want to try, um, getting back out there and meeting new people, or maybe feeling like I'm going to be alone for the rest of my life, da, da, da. Well, and that's why that's reversed. So that that's also a part of this tower moment, okay? This tower, the sudden boom. When messages start coming in, things that float your boat, career opportunities, or a um, somebody goes, hey, we're going to do this today, and I thought of you. Go with that. Spirit is definitely got that match. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to strike and light that fire within you. Okay? So within, so without. So don't hold back. Okay? When these new opportunities that, that as soon as you feel in your heart, Taurus, take off. Okay? Don't worry about this. Okay? No more negative Nancy talking to yourself. You're amazing. You're freaking fantastic. You're beautiful. You're handsome. Intelligent. You got your shit together. No more, no more crappy self-talk. You have, you rock. Okay? You rock. And we're going to get into love right now. I don't know who that was for, but yeah. Don't, don't let you take you down because of past experiences. Okay? Screw them. And that's exactly what you're going to be feeling. All right. This is the Price of Love Oracle. All right, Spirit. For the singles. Taurus. Spirit. Okay, one more shuffle. I'll pull from the top. Okay, here we go. Forgive yourself. Whatever mistakes. Maybe you've repeated a, a, a cycle over and over again until you finally got it. Spirit's coming in to say, let it go. It's over. Forgive yourself for making the mistake. I should have never. Why did I blood? Beating yourself up? No. No more. No more. You... You've earned the forgiveness, okay? We, at the time, it felt like the right thing to do to be with them, okay? That could be an error sign. Manipulation, okay? I'm really feeling strongly with this one that it's those cutting that off. And there is a big fear, though, uh, from the, uh, for some singles. Take a resonate, spit you out the rest, okay? I do have another message coming in. Um, you might be afraid, okay? Afraid of getting manipulated again so that's kept you in a stalemate here maybe that's like i want to get out and stuff but no i don't want to go through that again spirit's about to come in with some truths here with synchronicity look for feathers look for number 44 but i'm definitely feeling very strongly for whoever's watching this that you are definitely going to be guided to the person that is for you You're, it's going to be organic Okay, in fact, you may not even realize it's that person until you go home and later on at night you're going to be like, bing, oh crap, good, because you should be present in the moment. When you're present in the moment, you're listening, and they're listening to you, and you're going to see this in a surprising way, and, the, and they're going to back it up with synchronicities. All right, those in relationships, spirit. Ooh. All right, <clears throat> okay. All right. <laughs> some of you might want to be taking some time out. Maybe you've been needing this for a while there. Uh, Taurus, remember, take a resonate, spit you out the rest. A little time away is good for your, is healthy for your mind and body and soul. And if you need that, you need to do that. But it seems like there's some interference blocking you from having your you time. It's time for you to speak up, Spirit says. You should not let anybody, ta you know, mess with your energy. You need that time alone. There's a reason why you need alone. But there's a reason why they're keeping you from being alone. Not because they think, uh, you know, you're going to run off with somebody else. If you are, well, you know, that's you. Um, but I feel like they're just worried about you being on your own and what you're going to think about. Okay. Set those boundaries. You need to fight for this. This is a, this is a big one from Spirit. This is where that page of wands comes in with that ace of wands. Fight for it. There's no reason why you can't take the time you need for yourself. Don't let outside influences interfere with your inner self. They got no business there. That's your territory. That's your kingdom. Okay. Now, when you get that time alone, though, look what comes in. Romance. You're feeling romantic. And then quality time with that person saying, thank you so much for allowing me to have that time. I just needed that for me. Just for me. It had nothing to do with you. You know, um, for others, there's going to be time with you and your person. Okay. Quality time, a little bit of romance. Some of you may be getting flowers or giving flowers to your person. 
It's this very tender, beautiful energy and really stepping in and being here for that this week, Taurus. So on that note, have a great week. Hello there, Capricorn. All right, let's see what spirit has for you this week. Grounding, taking root. Your, all the work that you've been doing to heal and release and cleanse all coming into play in the collective energy and calling the muse out like spirit's really going to be striking that match to get our hearts afire again. Okay, Capricorn. All right, get ready to move forward, Capricorn. Whether you like it or not, spirit's got to get you where you need to be in alignment. It is what it is. Time to let go and accept that you cannot change the past no matter what you do. You cannot change the people around you, um, but you can change your mindset on how you're viewing these things and why they're influencing you uh, on a mental and deeper emotional level. Okay. And letting it all go. There's a huge shift, this energy, because it is what it is. Once you let go, that door is going to swing wide open in a way you guys are not going to expect. Okay. The royal you energy coming in to support you confidently and looking at yourself without the outside influences or Capricorn. Okay. I'm feeling very strong that you were going to see yourself in a much better way. Value. This is about your true self-worth. Maybe you don't feel worthy. Maybe you've been through a lot. You know, maybe you've done things you're not so proud of. It doesn't matter. You know, maybe you just don't feel like you're worthy. But where does that really come from? Because you are wearing this crown, okay? It's about recognizing and really, really seeing your worth, okay? You don't want to waste your energy on this shit, okay? Where's your mind at, Capricorn? Are you focusing more on things that's outside of yourself? Then you are you. Are you keeping yourself so distracted you're not spending time with you and listening to what you need? Maybe you don't want to see that. Well, I feel that that energy has been coming in very strong for Capricorn in the last couple of weeks. And now there it is. It is what it is. And you can let it go. Easier said than done, right? For some of you, I feel a very strong uh, energy for writing. Start writing your story out to yourself, okay? I understand, and I'm feeling this. Remember, take a resonate to pitch out the rest, but whoever's watching this, you really need to write this out for you. And then you can burn it, put it away, or whatever you want to do, publish it later, whatever. But you need to start writing it out. Get it out of the head and onto the paper. This is a very strong, encouraging energy for Capricorn, also, if you, what story are you sitting on inside? I feel like, come on, you writers, poems, uh, you know, stories, short stories, um, script writings, uh, screenplays, whatever. Get, start writing again. Spirit's going to light your fires. Like I, like I said, sorry, I had to get a grip on that because they were like, blah, blah, blah. Spirit's got a match and it's going to be lighting you up inside that enthusiasm it doesn't matter once you pick up that pen and really sit down and start writing that's going to come in i also got a message saying that you guys are going to be hearing stories of people not so much different than yourself okay whatever the, it is what it is the self-worth and the storyteller somebody's going to tell a story about going through this exact thing, same thing they could be older they could be younger it doesn't matter but the story they're telling you is going to blow your mind and it's going to shift your perspective like, aha, and then off you go. Spirit's trying to get you to <laughs> move that boat. Quit anchoring down there, Capricorn. All of this was weighing your boat down. That was your anchor, okay? It's time to go with the flow. Look at the emotions. Feel what you feel. You don't have to tell anybody if you don't feel like it. Write it down. Tell yourself. Tell your guides, whatever, whoever you work with, you know. It's time. Okay. It's time to go. And you don't know where you're heading. And Spirit's not going to show you where you're heading. Because I feel like there's a control thing. There may be a, a spin out that happens. Spirit's like, no, we got to keep you on the even keel. But we got to hit you in the heart center to get you fired up to go. And they want to encourage you on whatever comes your way this week, whether it's a detour, an obstacle, which may just have you move, go, okay, I can't go that way, so I got to go this way. Spirits can be very blatantly obvious that you're moving forward in areas that you may have not wanted to or were afraid to, okay? 
but you're going somewhere good. It's a very strong energy of surprising energy because it's, it's, you're worth it. You're priceless. Your self-worth is, you're worth more than whatever was going on before. And it's time for you to go. Get excited, Capricorn. All right, let's get the tarot. Now, I don't read traditionally. I read the energies as they come through the cards. Using the after tarot for this one. That's the Oracle of the Seven Energies. Call it Baron Reed. Woo! Capricorn. Thought I said, oh, there you are. Nope. I lied. So the one flipped on me on that. Nope. There you go. No more. No more sitting there going, well, I need to wait because of this. I need to wait because of that. There is this uh, huge procrastination energy here. I shouldn't say procrastination, but hold up. You know, spirit's like, you don't have to, what are you just going to stand there? Here comes the hawk. What are you going to do when the hawk lands and gives you your information? That's where you're at. You're right there. And spirit is bringing that through. You don't have to worry. Some of you might still be hanging on to pain. That cycle has officially ended. It is what it is. You're worth better than that. It's time to write it out. This is like releasing the anchor. Big energy there for you, Capricorn. Okay? And then going. Okay? You've done. You're not going to go through that again. Some of you are afraid of that. I'm going to repeat that cycle again. I don't want to go through that again. No matter whatever this painful thing is. This could be love. This could be career. It could be, you know, family, friends money it's over though yeah. all right you know maybe you're feeling like if you did that you won't feel so secure okay some of you may be on a not so good financial level right at the moment maybe it's because of stuff that happened before but don't worry spirit is not punishing you okay you had to see what how you saying? For some of you, there may have been somebody else involved. Okay. Friend. Uh, it could be a friend, a lover, whatever. Okay. Then put you into this pen, king of pentacles in reverse. Uh, like a lack of energy. Uh, maybe home. Uh, could have affected where you were living. Um, you had to go look for something else. And just being down. I mean, it was very painful. Okay. For some of you. But spirit saying though, you know, write that out. You are worth so much more. But Spirit said, you need to let that go. It is what it is because there's nothing you can do about the past. Okay? You need to fight through the trigger. Spirit's definitely going to help you there. To move on to something. I mean, this is a king. So this is like a majorly mature move. You're going from, you know, immature, <laughs> kind of frivolous and just, meh, 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 you know, either really tight, like holding everything in, you know, uh, like uh, security, like hugging yourself, the security blankets, um, weighted blankets, anxiety. But this is someone who is grounded and secure and feeling safe and feeling very much on track and, and on, and you've got a grip on you. It's no coincidence that royal you, sorry, it's spirits coming through in a really, and <laughs> like it's multi, multi uh, sentences coming through here. Okay. You need to recognize who you are for, to yourself. You are worthy. It did, like I said, there's a big, huge thing about spirits trying to get you to let go of past things. We are responsible for saying yes, no, left, right. Okay, you could do this to me. No, you can't. I'm out. You know, page of wands. Spirits coming in to light your fire with something that you will not be able to fight. You won't be able to douse it down. And, and, and you're going to move. You're going to move. Move forward in love, family, job, creativity. You're not going to see this coming there, Capricorn, on the bottom of the deck. There's a lot of stuff happening here for you guys, okay? It is what it is. But this is going to be a big theme. Maybe you're already starting to move into this, okay? But there's a big, huge, like, you guys need to hear about the writing. Tell your story. Even if you're just telling it to yourself. And I and I do feel that other energy. If somebody's going to come in and tell you a story. It's so exactly like yours. You're going to be like, whoa. It's going to make you trip. Alright. Praise the love oracle for those single Capricorns. Capricorn singles. Mirroring. Okay. So if you've been single for a while and this doesn't apply in relationship, um, here's the thing. Spirit is guiding you or will be guiding you. Okay. No more hesitating. This is you. Rocking it. 
These are energies, not gender, by the way. Rocking it like a boss. Okay, you're down to earth energy, your kindness. You know, it's like the ego's down, more humble. Okay, you're gonna meet someone just like that. And you're gonna feel that to the core. Tell me more. And the thing is, mirroring is important for you to understand that what you're going through, whoever this is coming in, is also going through that very same thing. Emotionally, mentally, but they're coming out of it. They're working through this too. This energy influences them also. Okay. Now, some people, there's autom uh, robotic. Okay, this has to do with like automatically saying yes or automatically doing this. Automatic, please, people, please, automatically sacrificing, saying no to what you really want to do and saying yes to others. It's just uh, being very spirits blowing the lid up off this one. Okay. And maybe it's not just that, but you're seeing this robotic behavior in a partner. Maybe you're working towards separation. I don't feel like this is like a, a strong, strong bond. In fact, it's extremely shaky bond. We do have separation. Maybe you're already in separation. And this is why. It's like, I don't want to be your robot. Oh, I have a voice too. And I can just hear someone else saying, well, you all of a sudden you're acting all like, you are in, you know, what are you, the boss? What are you, yeah, you know what? I know my worth and I'm okay. I'm good. See you later. Okay. Some of you will be making this decision this week. Maybe you've been hanging on to that. Waiting. I'm waiting for a sign. I'm waiting for the, uh, the a message to come back to me. I'm waiting for that sign. It's coming in. You're going to get that. Okay, for those of you in that situation, it could be a situation ship, somebody going back and forth. But it's definitely somebody in automatic mode, like automatic responses, but they're not feeling. You you will notice that the energy is not there. It's almost like everything's gonna clear up. Maybe you've already seen that. Okay. How about everybody else, spirit? We'll pull from the top. <laughs> There's this trapped energy. Communication. Okay, got it. Thank you, Spirit. Okay. So for those of you in relationships, maybe you've been feeling a little trapped. Maybe <laughs> I just saw like a, like a zipper across the lips. You know, maybe you haven't been able to speak your truth. This is going to be a blessed week for this. And you're going to be very surprised. That mirror energy is coming to very strong for this. They're asking me to pick that up. Um, and you're going to be very surprised on what you hear. <laughs> and I don't feel that the trap, I feel like trapped, like trapped, I can't, like trapped within, like I can't release, I can't, uh, you know, is it too late? It is what it is, might as well let it go, the past, blah, blah, blah. Well, it's one thing about the past. I mean, I even feel maybe writing letters to each other, writing it out, you know, write it out first and then talk. And you're going to be surprised how they open up and they're going to reciprocate that reciprocate. <laughs> There'll be a lot of reciprocity. Okay. It'll be back and forth. You're going to be very surprised at what you're going to hear also, how they feel that way too. But once you open that up, that goes away. And then there's this flow on that note, Capricorn. Have a great week.